but the Timothy six six seven only wait, God is immortal. Wait, because we will I'll explain what they mean. So in uh, is our angels immortal? Silence. Our angels are more. Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. In 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 heaven. Bro, they, bro, they, bro, they, bro. Can we keep oh, on okay. playing for them? Yes. Now wait. wait let me, you, no, no. Let me finish, finish my finish question because I'll ask. No, no, no. You ask the wait, question. Yeah, I will respond. Yeah. Let me just. I'm making Don't a statement. Don't answer your question. I'm making a statement. So I'll just make a statement. He said angels are immortal. Can I answer? Wait. Can I answer? Can I answer? Finish. Okay. First and foremost, I'll tell you why that is not the same question. Let me answer. Let no, me no, tell you why. Let, let me, me tell you. Let me get to my point first. Hey, you, you asked your question already. You no, asked no, it's no, angels. No, let me just. Well, you you asked. Let me make my okay, so, 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 Do you believe angels are immortal? First and foremost, yes. I tell you why this is a non-question. Shall I tell you why? why? Because the word immortal, I've already explained to you. Someone who does not die. Okay. Wait, wait, so wait a minute. I, you, are I haven't finished. Yes I no? haven't finished. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? It means you die. What does that mean? According to the dictionary, it means you're. The that end of life. your end of your life. No, 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 no. That that yeah. is a very simple definition. Okay. Where the it's end a of your life. Hold it. Yeah. Where is the Show separation? Show me in the dictionary where it says where separation, separation of soul and body. Okay, so you don't believe the separation I'm, of no, soul. No, no, I'm saying by the definition of death. Show me where it says separation of body. Okay. Okay. Bring up the dictionary. Okay. And look at the word. Uh, look up the word death. And then look up the word immortal as well. Because when you're talking about only spirit. Okay. So death? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait, one second. Death is. Oh. Just put, what does death mean? Oh. So death is the action or fact of dying or being killed, Bro, the end of speak, life of a person. Yes. Yes. Which, so, which means in, I'll, I'll, from yeah. a. You know end, that, of, end of your life. Listen, it when you sense. say end of your life, so yes. does the soul separate you, from your body at that point? I'm not going by the definition. No, you're a Christian. No, no, you're a Christian. You should know what that is. The definition of death is the end of your life. Yes, what happens then? What happens then? Separation. For a Christian, what happens then? Huh? During death, what happens? I'm saying. I'm saying your 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 understanding of immortal is wrong. I'm asking you, what happens during death? What happens during death? Yes. Separation. You see, the reason you're quiet is because you agree with my statement. What happens with death? That is, your soul is separated from your body. Yeah, now, I, now wait. I, you, now you answering said, your question. Now I'm going to answer your question. Yes. Do the angels have a body? Are the Do the angels have a body? Are the angels immortal? Is what my question was. I will, but once you no, no, answer no. this question, I, you I, you I said I was on a line of questioning. Yeah. And so, so am I, I on a line of answering? Yeah. yeah. Now answer my question. No, no, no. Do the so angels have asking, a body? I'm saying. Do the angels have a body? Do the angels have a body? Immortality means you cannot die. Do the angels have a body? Of mortality. Do the angels yes, have a body? Do. They do. Yes. Like you. They have an angelic body. Show me why it says that. So what? Are, he just are made angel, it up. Are angel spirit? He just made it up. Wait, wait, of course they're spirit. Are they? Are they? Of course they're spirit. Are they? Yes, they are. So show me otherwise so, in the Bible. Okay. According why they have to wait, wait, wait. So when Harun where, where and um, the two an angel? angels came on the tower, Babel, well, the Bible, were they spirits? Angels, or were they they could come down. They were they bodily? Can answer? Oh yes. They just could. They can take on a form of a human. So then they become mortal. Yeah. Um, um, no. Do from the form of. When we talk about what, when we, okay, nature, you then, know if, if that is your definition of a mortal, be, if that is your so definition of mortal, then this, Jesus this became mortal. This is my question. When they take the form of a human, can angels die? I'll tell you what. Okay. When they take on the form of a human, yes. yes, it doesn't mean that they became a human being. Okay. Yes, it just means that you they. You said to me, do they have a body? It just means they manifest as a human. Doesn't okay. mean they become human beings. So they have a body. Okay, they first, can have a body. They can have a body. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Now, yeah. They can, have can I answer? But can I answer? Yes. Can I answer? When you say they have a body, yes. Do they have a human body, so or they look like humans? Said. We said the end of life. And about yeah, but they can appear Bro, listen, listen, as human. You know, that they you, are know human, you know, you really need to appear. understand the oh, difference listen. between Sorry, sure. what an angel manifesting as human is and what a human being is. Yeah, okay. A human being by nature is mortal. And that is the reason Jesus was able to die. Does God the Father die? No. Does God the Son die? Yes. God the Son, according to you, God if he son, died, then he's immortal. God the Son was immortal. And that's why I said, oh, so you, know, so you don't believe in the crucifixion? I, I, said, you're you're so understanding, I said, your understanding of immortal is wrong. Because this, I've already defined what immortal is. When he died, listen, he, he was, was fully man and fully in God. In his humanity. Okay, wait, wait. He was in his humanity. 
his humanity. Fully died. man, fully what God. What do you mean his humanity, humanity died? So, so the, his the, nature the, died the second, or the person the second died? second person of the Trinity did not die. Oh, so the person did not die, the nature died. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Say that again. Did the person die or did the nature die? During In, crucifixion? The humanity died. So the nature died. It's the about humanity. the humanity. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying the nature died? The humanity. So Which means the nature, it, right? The humanity, humanity the is the nature, the, the corruptible not the person. flesh died. The, the flesh died. The flesh died. The flesh is also the nature. The divine and you have the flesh. Oh my God. Which person died? The flesh died. The flesh is died. the flesh nature or is it the person? I don't understand your... Okay, let me make you, you understand. I'm saying so you believe... You're, you're wait, wait, understanding brother. might be different wait, from mine. You, I'm saying let the, me ask to you. make it simple, I'm saying the flesh died. No, you don't understand the difference between the nature and the person, do you? Explain. Okay, that's why Does, is, the, is the nature attached to a person or is it just by itself? Is the nature attached to a person? Yes, or is it just by itself? What, what's the nature? The nature, the human nature, the divine nature. What is the human nature? The human nature... The, the, is for me, the human nature is the flesh. Okay, is the flesh attached to a person? Is the for, flesh attached to a person? Yes. The, I'll see, in I'll in see. terms of human beings, you have a soul and you have a flesh. In terms of Jesus, there was the divine even in and human, the flesh. Look, even in human nature, yes. you have a flesh. Yes. Are you a person? Yes. Is the flesh attached to you as a person? Yes. yes. Thank you. In the case of Jesus, was that flesh attached to the person? The flesh was it. You had the divine and you had the flesh. Good. Yes. So you had two natures, the flesh and the divine. The hypostatic yeah. union, which we've been going Were around those, in circles about. You know, you mentioned the word flesh. Yes. You mentioned the term divine. Okay. Are these natures? Okay. Or are so, they persons? So, 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 say that again. Are these two natures yes. or are they persons? The divine flesh, yeah. the divine and the human. Are they flesh and the divine? Are these two different natures of Jesus or are they two different persons? The two different natures. Thank you. Attached to which person? The divine was in the flesh. Ah, the word is lost at yeah. no, Both you're natures, you're, you're, you're both natures yeah. Yeah. they both are attached to the second yeah. person yeah. of the Trinity. Yeah. 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 They yeah. Both, yeah. both these natures yeah. are attached to the second person they, of the if, Trinity. If they're both attached to the third, so then you have three. No, the natures are not a person. No, 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 no. You don't understand the difference okay. between the person and the nature. Okay. You see, you yeah. keep making this the, mistake because the, you don't know the difference. You've got the divine nature and you've got the human nature attached to one person. the second person in the Trinity. What is the person? The will. No, the person is a persona. Yes. Yeah, the persona okay. and the person here, which you which you use as the uh, what is the Greek term you use? Uh, the, the the homo oasis is the essence. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the other term? The, the oasis and the hypostasis. The hypostasis. Yes. So I'm talking about the hypostasis. The hypostasis is the person. Yes. The hypostasis has a homo oasis, the nature. Yes. Yeah. They're not the same thing. Yes. You agree? Yes. I'm surprised he understands Greek better than English. Because I understand the terminology. Good. But so you now I'm using your, your terminology. Your, 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 your descriptions are. Is that's fine. That's fine. Yes. You understood the hypostasis? Yes. And you understand the homoousis? Yes. Yes. They're not the same. Do you agree? Yes. They're not the same. They're not the same. The yes. hypostasis is not the same as the homoousis. But personality and the, the essence, so they're different. No, no, the person, yes, yes we know that the person is not the essence. Okay. Okay? And the person is not the nature either. The nature, you, the nature attached to the person. See, you're, now you're bringing, we ha, we've gone from hypostatic, hypostasis, anoesis, now you're bringing in person and nature. I'm using English. Yeah, but that's why you're, we've now got four different terminologies. Okay, when you talk about the essence, yes. which is the oasis. So, yes, oisa. so how does the nature Wait, relate, the, relate oisa, to the... The oisa yes. is the, the essence. Yes. Okay. And the hypostasis yes. is the person. Yes. Okay. Now, this person, yes. when you talk about his essence, his essence is made of what nature? The essence. Do you understand the question? He does, he does. No, no, but that's why... The, the essence of this person or hypostasis is made yes. of what nature? A divine nature. And? In the case of Jesus. And? Human. In his humanity. What, so when, when Jesus incarnated... Yes. What nature? What is the other nature? The humanity. So human nature yes. and the divine nature. Yes. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So this hypostasis yeah. is one hypostasis. One person. 
having two natures. Okay, now if I ask you, in the Trinity, you got three hypostases. Do you agree? Do you agree? Okay? One hypostasis is divine, the first person of the Trinity, the Father. It doesn't have any human nature. Do you agree? Yes. The third person of the Trinity is also the same. It is divine, doesn't have a human nature. However, the second person of the Trinity has two natures, divine and human. In the flesh form? Yes, during yeah. the crucifixion. Yeah. During the crucifixion. Yeah. Did that person, which has two natures, die? No. Then who died on the cross? The the humanity. Humanity. Was he a different person? Because you had. Wait, was he a different person? Because you had. No, no, answer you, the question. You had to, to, to think you said of, in humanity. In a simple way to answer. In a simple way to answer. You are contradicting yeah. yourself. In a simple way, to answer, simple answer, way it's like his flesh your soul, died. His flesh died. Instead of you having, what you having a soul, like his soul was the divine. That's no, what, bro, that's so when exactly you die, bro, we need to understand when you die, you don't have soul. You're dealing with flesh. That doesn't mean he's immortal. In terms of the hypostatic union, when the flesh died, Think of when the soul say, when you say as that the flesh divine. Died. What what you you? That's why the Jesus says when you die, he says, you know, it's as if you're sleeping. You know, because you're not actually dead. Yeah. That's, that's why it's so, yeah. so yeah. understand. It's a human of we're, home. You know, yeah, you know we always die one day? We are flesh. Do you think we all are immortal? That's why when Jesus says, when you die, it's as if you're sleeping. Are we all immortal? You're not actually dead. Do we return back to our home state? When we look at the earth, it's basically broken up and you can die. Right? But the nature, the soul, does not live on. Exactly. And it's your soul. And it's your soul. The soul is your like. No, no, no. You don't understand the meaning of the word. Wait, wait. Do you know why I explain to you the meaning of that? Are you God after you die? But the true person is your soul. The true man is your soul. No, hold on. Are you God after you die? Are you God after you die? Yeah, but he's really confusing. You don't know what immortal means. You don't know no, what no, that no, means. When, 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 when I was asking you, is your soul immortal? Wait, is your soul immortal? I've already answered it. No, no. When, 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 when I was asking you, is this the human no, body of a Jesus? When I was asking my not? questions, I got cut off. So I said, in the Quran, you have the young boys that are like servants, it calls them immortal. What's that say again? Like, uh, which young boys? They're, the, they're boys? like servants. Let me Where? find Which them. servants? Let me find uh, them. Don't, the don't way, open up the subject. Passion, 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 don't open up the subject. You, you have, no, no, because we're talking about what is immortality. Did Jesus. So I ask, but what is your definition of immortality? What is your immortality mean you cannot die? Okay, do you die? I die. Okay, I can every day. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you immortal? My soul. You know, you know when, when did you read First Timothy 16? Yes. 6, 16. Oh, in the context of that, yes. wait, you, what is, you know you always talk when I'm trying to finish a verse. Okay. Have oh, respect for the Bible. I'm quoting a verse to you. Yes. You need to understand it. In First Timothy chapter 6, verse 16, yes. when God says he alone okay. is immortal. So, no. so Christian. Let me finish. So Let me ask you a question. Christians believe bro, angels bro, are immortal. Bro, bro, bro. Let so, me ask you a question. So I, I finished the statement. Yes. Okay. You okay. didn't even let I'll, me. I'll, I'll explain to you what that Timothy means. So this is why I had to ask you. Let me ask you the question right. first. Yes. Before you explain it. Yes. Okay. When God says, when your Bible says, He alone is immortal. Yes. Yes. Okay. So in the context of First Timothy yes. 16, please define the term immortal. immortal. He alone. Okay. It's immortal. Now Please. I will answer your question, but I have to ask you some questions. Are angels immortal? I've already answered that question. I'm You're sorry. Yes. Yes, I'm sir. sorry to say this. Okay. I've already answered this question. The reason I answer this question okay. is because you're asking someone who doesn't have a body if he's immortal. What? The, what is the definition of mortal? Someone whose life cannot end. Immortal means someone Separation who doesn't die. Body. No, no, no. no. What, what is yes. soul? Someone cannot die. Yeah, that so is what that. Are angels Wait, immortal? Do you know why I asked you the definition of death earlier? It's because in order to understand immortal, you have to first define the term death. Death means separation of the soul from the body. So then this but, doesn't apply. Ah, this, this but doesn't then, yes, but then if angels don't have souls, then you've answered the question. The angels, no, angels are don't immortal, have body. so they're immortal. Angels, all to, you, angels do not have bodies. Yes. Doesn't mean that they are immortal. Immortal, immortal listen, means you cannot listen. die. So therefore, you're saying they don't have a body, can so they you, can't die. Can I, can so then you. No, no, question. no. Yes. I did not tell you they did not die. I told you that they do not have a body. Now, if God wants to kill an angel, listen, listen. If God wants to kill an angel, can he kill him? I'm asking you that. No, I'm asking you. I don't know, you tell me. You don't know about angels? You, yeah, I don't know, you tell me. Can okay. It, can you, do you believe in a fallen angel? Can, do I believe in fallen angels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. Can the fallen angels die? I don't know, you tell me. What do you think? They can no, be destroyed by a fire. They can be destroyed. No, not fully. Not, not. With, they'll, go into, the, they'll go into the hellfire. In fire. So, so, so you guys are, what so you guys, yes, yeah, yeah. so are you saying they are immortal? Huh? Are you saying they're immortal, the fallen angels? They're still immortal, yeah. So, so your God and fallen angels are no different? 
Seriously. How? What kind of because God, God, I didn't know because I didn't say that. God I'm asking no you. Nobody. You I'm asking you. I asked you. Are angels immortal? Okay. To me. Yes. To me, it's very clear. Yes. We human beings are different from the angels. The angels, if God wants to put an end to their life, okay. however, whatever, we don't know how. Could. But He could put an end to them. The reason, I, look, the reason I pointed you, the reason I pointed you to 1 Timothy 6.16, where God says he exclusively is immortal. Yeah. What does that mean? Nobody else is immortal except him. Do you the agree? angels, the angels are No, no, do you agree you. with that statement I which I just made? So that the only reject. one, the only one who is immortal mm -hmm. is who? God, God Almighty. God. God is immortal, yes? yeah. When God says this, yeah. who are you or me to say otherwise? No but you're saying otherwise. otherwise. You are. How are we saying otherwise? Because you? you're basically saying that Jesus. You said they cannot die. The fallen angels. Eternal. Hold on. Jesus is eternal. Hold on. Listen. And that goes against okay. Timothy. Listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. We are all created. Let me, let let me, right? Bravo. Can we continue next time? Because it's time for Maghrib and I need to go and pray now. Alright, so with that, that I think we should end it. If you want, we can continue next time, inshallah. But please read up on three things the the definition of death, the definition of immortal, the definition of hypostatic union. Okay, and the definition of a person and a being are they the same or different? Just like a locker. Okay. Uh, okay. Peace be with you.